Hi, I'm Commando Steve from Feel Good Fitness WA and I'm on the Prosper's Prosperity Show and I can't wait for you to hear all about our beginner's health and fitness. Look, look forward to speaking to you real soon. The episode of the Online Prosperity Show and today we've got none other than Steve himself. Steve, how are you doing my man? I'm fantastic mate, fantastic. How are you doing Prosper? Good to, oh. good to chat mate and I'm thank you for the invitation. I'm good, man. All right. Now, Steve happens to be a fitness trainer at a lot place in Mandura, which is in Western Australia. Now, as you would know, your health and the way you feel will constitute your output in life. Now, Steve, how far is it really, really important for somebody to be physically fit these days? Um, it's not so much about the physical fitness prosper at the end of the day. The people that come to see us, yeah, have got depression, anxiety, stress, which is the number one killer, uh, the silent killer, stress, and exercise is the best way to combat all of these th uh, things at the end of the day, yeah? So basically, them, them things are addressed with exercise. It's the best way to do it. Now, phys being physically fit, it depends on what level of fitness you wanna be up to, yeah? But the predominantly, the beginner um, niche that we are targeting for clients is the ones that, basically don't want to be going into a normal run-of-the-mill 24-7 gym or a normal CrossFit gym because number one, they're either intimidated to go in there, there's too many mirrors around and they just want to come somewhere that they're not intimidated, they feel free and comfortable and we make them feel like part of the family as soon as they come into us. And there's a massive problem with obesity in Australia and we feel that the beginner level is definitely getting missed out whether or not it's being all levels in a gym or all levels in CrossFit, still people need a beginner platform to go to, and that's what we're trying to create, a beginner market for these people to feel like they can come from zero to step one by taking that first jump, which is a massive jump for some of my clients. Understandable. Okay, so obviously, did you notice I just went into the stereotype of what a gym is supposed to, in, in as opposed to what you guys craft when somebody's really starting at that very intimidating um, phase. Now, yeah. how then, um, normally people don't realize up until it's really late. Have you got ways of enticing people to realize and you know show up at your place to say, listen, I think I need your help because some people, if they are intimidated yeah. by the gym, they're never going to think they can start. How do you make it comfortable for them? Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, it's having, like, like I just said, not having any mirrors around. That is number one. Yeah. Inviting the clients to come into the center before they actually do a session. Offering them a free trial session just to come in and see how they feel after one session. Usually what we do as well to make them feel comfortable is we have like an AA meeting. Yeah. Basically, you all go around in a little circle, and if there's a new member in the group, we all go around and share. So basically, one person out of the group will go around, and if there's a new client in, they'll hear all the stories from all the other people within that group, yeah, of how they've felt their journey with Feel Good Fitness has gone, to make them feel as comfortable as possible from the very first minute they walk in that door, you know? So they get to hear the experiences of other people, and then they get the inspiration from the other people that have got results within us, and heard what the, the centre is all about and what, what us as the trainers offer that support to that client. Understandable. So you did say you are eliminating the mass market, um, you know, stereotypical way of looking at being fit, which is measured by the mirrors in the, in the, in the gym. How much of a psychological shift does that do to somebody who's studying off um, in, in, in the fitness or sort of, you know, looking after their health? Uh, ma well, massively, massively for a lot of the customers because a lot of them are predominantly overweight. They've got self-confidence issues, low self-esteem, and to have mirrors plastered everywhere around and fit athletic people around them, it's not an environment that they can actually feel they can lose their inhibitions and actually train to how they would do, sweating or looking the way they might do with exercise. Whereas we're not attracting the people that are buff from the gym and we're not having the mirrors in there so the people feel comfortable yeah so that is the main reason why that is uh what people like about what they come into to us and see that it's all of the issues they have with their men mentality of in here 
that obviously we offer, which obviously makes them feel comfortable so they can obviously take that step and obviously feel comfortable in that environment that they're in. All right, great stuff. So obviously they've come in, you make them really, really comfortable. How do you then make them stay? Because obviously they're changing the pattern of their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. What is it that you do to keep encouraging them to, to come in and, 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 and want more for their health? I think, I think what it is is basically that I offer uh, nutritional advice to them. I offer accountability coaching to these clients as well. So basically they can come to see me once a month and basically we have a review, we sit down, and you know yourself, when you write something down on paper, that becomes 100,000 times more powerful. So then we have a track record of where they've gone month to month. We see how far their measurements have gone. We see a food diary per week of what they've eaten. And we can analyze all of this. And I think a lot of it comes down to, and you probably agree with this, is if that person has not a support network around them, if they have someone else to believe in them, yeah, that's enough to spark something inside that other person to help them believe in themselves as well. You see, so by us believing in them, they believe in themselves and then they see their track record and either it be a couple of inches they've lost or they've cut down on the cigarettes they might be smoking in a day. Any little gain to them, they can track it over the months and each month they go, they see the little changes and it really does add up. And as you know, small changes really do make a difference in the long term with anything you know and it's the same with health and fitness same with business it's the same with anything you know understandable so obviously what would have brought them to that um you know scenario is their environment now if you shift them from that toxic environment into an environment of um accountability an environment of you also helping them with their nutrition then yeah. it, it sort of works out like that so your gym basically is not a place to just lift heavy metal right and obviously, at the end of the day, weight training is definitely 100% what we give these clients, yeah? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be crashing weights around. Weight training's got so many benefits to it, you know, with bone, bone den improving bone density. It's got, uh, obviously, strengthening all your ligaments and all your tendons. It's just got so many uh, positive aspects to weight training. But a lot of it is cardiovascular-based, um, boxercise-style uh, training, uh, just functional training. And it's just getting people really moving from A to B, because you know yourself, you know, it's, they don't have to be doing complex movements at the end of the day to get themselves fit and moving. Just even walking backwards and forwards from one side of the gym to the other, you know, it's, it's just progression. Everything's a progression, you know, from step one to step two to step three to step four. But as long as they've got someone holding their hand the whole way and showing them what to do, it becomes a much more powerful thing for them to have. And when we have very small little groups, like I train clients within a small group of five, and then the other trainers might train another small group in about an eight or 12 group, you know? So obviously it goes down to, it reflects on the price they charge per group, you know? So obviously the less clients in the group, you pay a little bit more money for, because there's obviously a less uh, client to uh, trainer ratio, a little few more clients in there. And it's just becoming a real family thing now. And, uh, everyone's telling their friends and it's just gone from one client to 150 within one year now. So it's starting to really unfold and people around the Mandra area are really starting to see the positive effects it's having around the area. Understandable. Now, Steve, your gym is dubbed the local friendly gym um, in the Mandra area. Well, that is actually focused on helping people feel confident and good about themselves. Why yeah. would anyone want to feel confident about themselves in a world where we're just behind the screen on social media these days? Uh, it, I think it's a lot to do with like uh, the, the pills and stuff that people are taking, the antidepressant pills, all of this sort of stuff. It goes way beyond that. It's, this is changing people's lives. And that's our motto. Feel Good Fitness WA is changing lives. Yeah. So people that have come in to see us, yeah, have got, real issues like you're saying with actually getting out the front door of their house and for these people like i said they would have never have started if we weren't there if i didn't believe me and Haley, my wife didn't believe in ourselves yeah to put ourselves on the line and risk all of our stuff with our house and all the rest of it to go outside into a commercial space to offer this service to the public there'd be some people that are still in that same situation as they were now, you know what I mean? And that is very, that needs to be addressed. 
that needs to really be addressed, not just in WA, that needs to be addressed in Melbourne, Perth, and it's fantastic. I'll never knock the 24-7 gyms and the CrossFit gyms because they've got their place, yeah, because they don't want to come to a beginner gym. There's people at a level, they need that next level up, yeah, but there is, there is people, a wide amount of people that are in that obesity range that need our help with exercise, yeah, there is places out there, but there needs to be a lot more because we need to start fighting back against this obesity problem we've got here. There's people out there that really need our help. Re and I mean really needs our help at the end of the day because it, it even gets me emotional because every day I see this when the people walk in, they don't have the support network. They're just, yeah, it, it's, it's quite a touching subject, mate, because it is, it, it is a problem, you know? And the food situation as well, you know yourself, food is a massive thing as well, you know? There's temptations around every corner. I mean, for me, for you, everyone, and it's in everyone's face, you know? Takeaways on every single corner, and people need that help, mate. People need the, the mindset help to try and help them combat that. It's not gonna be a, an easy thing, like I say, they come in, it's step one, two, three, four. <laughs> You're gonna, you know what I mean? It's not that easy, you know? But as long as there's help there, as long as there's help there, then they've got a chance, you know? All right, good. So obviously now we've, we've walked through the whole process. It's, it's a beginner's gym and everybody else that's really starting and has no support network around them would find themselves um, in, in, your, in a friendly environment in your exactly. gym there. So yep. let's say somebody is just sitting on the fence right now and they, they know they've got to do something, but... They're, they're, they're in and around, you know, the Mandra area there in Western Australia. They see you doing everything. They've heard the stories. Yeah. But they just can't be moved. What is that one thing you got to tell them and say, Commander yeah. Steve says? There's, there's absolutely nothing I can. Absolutely nothing. Do you know why? Because it's like anyone in life. They will do it when they are ready. I cannot change it. You know what I mean? It is definitely down to the individual. My son, if he's in trouble at school, I can, I can advise that child at the end of the day not to do that thing or whatever from the teacher, but until that person decides to change or decides to do that thing themselves, I can only say so much as we offer this, it's here for your taking, I'd never force anyone to do it, but I do think it's definitely a thing, it has to come from within that individual to take the step themselves. And we'll be here to encourage them every step of the way when they need us. And we'll be here for them, yeah? But I would definitely say that it has to come from within that person to really go, okay, I'll reach out to you, you know? There's only so much you can do to, to, to have these people. I've had people come in, they've been looking after us, looking over us for about three to six months. And they've eventually made it, but it's down to their own decision at the end of the day, you know? And it's one of them things that... You can never force someone to do something. It's got to be down on their own accord if they want to start this and, and take the journey uh, with us, you know? So it's, uh, I would definitely say to people though, exercise does relieve so many ailments. I've had people walk in the gym, aching and pains all over their body and within three to four weeks, all the aches and pains have just disappeared. They've just gone away, you know? Because they've felt fit, they've felt healthy. It changes, it changes in here. It, from one exercise program, just one exercise program, it changes in here. And from there, you can achieve anything, you know? So it is, it's a fantastic thing, exercise, and it's very underrated. Um, and I think, you know, it's one of them things that um, it should be a prescription, you know, for medicine instead of, instead of giving any other prescriptions, really. So it's definitely a, a good thing. I've been doing it 22 years myself, and uh, it's helped me through many many difficult situations i've obviously turned to exercise as in in in, in favor to many of the other baddies that you know what are out there you know so obviously i feel that exercise can be a very good building block to taking you through difficult circumstances in your own life uh experiences personally great stuff okay now i've got one last question um <laughs> you know for you you've just recently become a dad and congratulations uh, to you <laughs> How how then are you mixing uh, work and life, which is what your clients might be going through right now? They might be thinking, okay, I've got a family. I don't think yep. I'll have time to go and, and work out. Just, you know, let us know how that is, um, you know, possible, especially for the beginner person that's still sitting on the edge right now and is still yep. not yet convinced. 
Now, the sessions are only 45 minutes long, and I would say to you that we run programs from 5.30 in the morning till eight o'clock at night. Now, I do feel, and there's always an excuse, <laughs> but, but, but 45 minutes out of a, a very large window from when we're open till closed, there is always a way to make it work. And I think that I personally feel that 45 minutes is not a long time to spare out of a day, maybe two or three days a week to get them in a uh, positive mindset. And again, it will really come down to the individual. And if they have got kids, there's, there's always a way to, there's always a way around it. I mean, we haven't at current got a, a crash facility, which we would obviously, once we expand a little bit, we'd obviously get that facility to help the ones with the family, you know, a little bit more. Um, but that will come obviously as we grow, as we've only been established now for a very short time of just over three months now. So it's very, very new. But I, the way I mix my life personally is I actually get up 3.30 in the morning to do my training. Um, and I train between 3.30 and 5 o'clock. I leave the, the gym where I train at, then go to work at 5.30. And the way that I balance my life is now that I have other personal trainers working for me that cover all of my evening shifts and then I spend the time in the evening with my family at home. Understandable. Uh, while, while, while they're still obviously getting service, the other beginners that can only train maybe that can't do the mornings and they train evening times then. So there's always someone on hand to try and help them throughout the whole day as much as we possibly can uh, prosper. Understandable. So obviously now that I know that you're working with beginners, there's not going to be any shaming of my body because there's no mirrors <laughs> there. And, and then I now know that you are working pretty much around the clock to just make sure that you accommodate as many people that have different lifestyles as much as possible. Yeah. And it's damn, it is, um, you know, named the friendly gym in Mandura. Now, maybe I'm sort of convinced now, and you did say there's a, uh, free session that you're offering now how can people find you um well we're on facebook uh feel good fitness wa and we also got a, a website which is uh, www.feelgoodfitnesswa.com.au so that's uh, the main port of call for us and uh just go onto our page and just inquire message or there's uh some stuff on there to book in for your sessions um and we look forward to seeing anyone that's interested in these services uh, around our area. And if there is anyone, obviously, um, interstate, we can still offer some other sort of services for them if they're really struggling um, with maybe some Skype calls, just to get them on the right path at the end of the day. Because for me, what I do day to day, it isn't work. For me, this is passion, and I absolutely love what I do. Day in, day out, I just... I can't get enough of this and I really want to just give as much as I possibly can with the health and fitness industry. And if I can change just one person's life, it's going to make me happy, you know, and already we've already done a vast amount more than that. But just to see each individual, it, because every individual has a very different journey. There's always a different scenario, should I say, for each different person. And you obviously have, there's a few little favourites along the way, as you, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's, it's just lovely to see it develop and their confidence grow, you know, from when they walk in the door and they're, you know, all shy and timid. And now they're, they're just, they're just, they're coming out themselves and they're like you, me, or, you know, anyone that can, you know, anyone that would be positive in life. And don't get me wrong. We all have our down days, but they have more up days now than they have down days. So it's, it's definitely working. And uh, yeah, I just love what I do. And uh, me and my wife, want to just uh, say that we're so appreciative for you to give us this chance to come on here tonight and she would be on here tonight but she's feeding the baby at the minute <laughs> so yeah but yeah it's it's just it's just great to be doing what we're doing prosper and uh, we just hope that this will really kick on and if there is like anyone else out there listening i would love it and, and i'm not you know i'm the beginner thing like i'm saying to you it just needs to be in a few more places around the area just to really help as many people as they can to try and because there is a lot of people out there that need that help and whether it's us us that offers the help though prosper or someone else wherever that would that would mean a lot to me it's not just about us promoting our business though it's just about everyone 
given that platform, like I said, to go from here to step one. You know, that's that that that's going to be what we really need to address here. Do you know what I mean? It's and I don't want to be, you know, but that's I don't want to go on too much, but. <laughs> That's, that's <laughs> what I feel like anyway. <laughs> Not a problem. Well, obviously, if you've been watching this and um, you're yeah. really considering to uh, make that switch, obviously your health matters, okay? You only have one life and the, and the vehicle you're in is the one that you have till, um, you know, um, you, you get to leave this. Uh, so you might as well take good care of it. And yeah. if you're not doing anyone a service, you're not doing anyone a favor, especially your loved ones, if you're not looking after yourself, because if you don't do well, you cannot, if you don't feel well, you can never do well. All right. Mm. So that yeah. means you can never leave. You can never love. You won't matter. All right. Yeah. And I understand. And I know that you sitting on there right now and watching this video, you really want to do more with your life, leave more and, um, you know, you know, be around those people that you actually absolutely care about. Now, Stephen Haley have opened up their hands and their arms and their family and, and are welcoming you so that you too can start becoming confident and feel good about yourself. And hopefully you would um, make a decision in 2018. Steve, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you. I know you've got to rush and go and lift heavy <laughs> Um, you know, just so you can keep in shape, but I really, really appreciate your time. And I also, on behalf of humanity, appreciate and thank you for your work, because yeah. this is an epidemic that needs to be addressed. And it's yeah. only taking one person and one couple to actually make a difference and show the difference to the world. Thank you so much. No problem at all, mate. It's been a pleasure. Good stuff. Great stuff. You've done this before, haven't you? Huh? <laughs> I don't know, have I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did well, buddy. You did well. Um, um, yeah, but this, this is fantastic, man. I really, really um, wish you guys all the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and as you know, you've got a real big supporter in me. I love what you guys are putting out there. And it, it's a matter of time. You, yeah. you know, it takes 21 days to be, I mean, 21 years to be 21. I keep saying that. Um, yeah. Some people want to rush these things, but, you know, the yeah. fact that you are going out there and doing what you I, I actually love and, you know, having a real go at it, I really appreciate that. There's a lot of people that are not doing what they're meant to be doing. Uh, yeah. You know, and 